Hey everyone, Happy New Year! Uh, I hope you had a grand 2010 and um, hope you'll have an even greater 2011 with lots of happy moments and lots of folding moments and lots of happy folding moments, of course. Um, my next video, so my second, I guess, for 2011, is probably going to go up um, this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a different uh, style of video, so I'm very excited and a bit nervous um, what you think of it. I'm, I'm going to still, of course it's an instructional video, but I'm going to try to teach you something about tessellations that you can apply to many tessellations rather than just folding that one specific one. Um, and I'm very excited uh, and I'm very, very looking forward to your feedback, be it good or bad. Um, so, what else? Um, I'm a bit flustered. Oh yes, I um, I like getting comments on videos, but sometimes I know um, people don't quite know what to comment and, um, well, the videos I, I constantly delete is, are the ones that just say yay first comment because uh, I've, uh, they don't have a lot of content, do they? So. Um, I always tell you a lot about my passion of origami and, and whatever, how to do this and that and, and how to best achieve fold. So I thought if I gave you a question, um, it would be easier for you um, to give your opinion on that. So I'm on a couple of mailing lists and, um, and often there's these origami sightings, be it in fashion, in books, in TV series and also in um, commercials. So um, the last commercial email, for example, I got um, was one for Toshiba where they kind of do this paper art um, and origami inspired video um, and I watched that and I was especially intrigued because um, they also had a making of video which I thought was really really interesting um, and it features Sifo Mabono who you know is a great origami artist um, and I thought what do you um, think about these um, origami ads um, do you have a particular favorite one? Because in, in the um, most recent years, um, there's been quite a few of those videos that feature origami and, you know, the quite, um, quite uh, distinguished origami artists have made videos. For example, also Robert Lang, I think, with some fishes that move and, and Joseph Wu with, with lots of ads. and. Um, I just wanted to know which is your favorite one, which ones do you know, maybe I don't know about them, um, and um, do you like the idea? Um, I think actually it, it highlights origami, it gives it uh, more of a, an artistic view rather than child's play, so, so I think it's actually something very good for origami and the perception of origami, and also of course I just love watching um, very artistic videos, um, so, yeah, how about you comment on that? Uh, and the third one is um, more of not a common task, but, um, well, anyway, I'm going to tell you about it and you can think of it what you want. So, the last video I uploaded was this promo for different origami channels, and um, not too surprisingly, I got a couple of queries saying like, oh, uh, why didn't you add this person, or um, can't you feature my channel in a next video like that. So I wanted to um, explain first. I just um, contacted a couple of channels that I knew about and then I thought um, did nice videos and some of them responded, some of them didn't um, and then we just compiled this video together um, and um, that was kind of the selection process, stuff I knew about. Uh, but of course, I don't know about all of your channels. Um, I, I have to admit I'm not the, the biggest uh, YouTube watcher just because I don't have that much time. And, you know, you can spend a lot of time on YouTube, which is great, but I also have to do, you know, my full-time work. I, I have family, I have friends and, you know, um, you kind of have to find a good balance. And given that I al already spend a lot of time on the video creation for YouTube, I don't hang around as much um, exploring all the cool other channels that are out there. So I want to give you the, um, the opportunity to make me aware of those channels to consider for a um, origami channel promotion. 
So for that I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. First, I want you to send me an email rather than contact me on YouTube with um, via a message or a comment on my channel or my video because it's much easier for me to keep track of that. So if you send me an email to sarah at heavyfolding.com um, that's, that's the first step. And that email I want um, to include a couple of um, a couple of information points. So the first is I need a link to your channel, of course, else I don't know what you're talking about. The second is um, I'd like you to include a link to an example video you think I should have a look at to show me what um, style of video you do, um, the kind of quality, um, what your theme is. Um, the third is I'd like you to uh, specify um, whose designs you present whether you're, they're your own, whether they're traditional, or whether they're from other designers. And um, if, there's, um, if there are videos um, that present work from other designers, um, I'd like you to tell me whether you ask for permission. And um, I'm probably going to add the restriction that um, I'm, I'm only going to promo channels that actually do ask for permission, because I want to support that, I want to encourage that. It's usually not very hard, and um, it's very respectful, it's the right thing to do, it's what I do too, so I kind of know what kind of effort it usually is. Um, and maybe this can give you um, some extra motivation. And the fourth is, I'd like you to add an idea on how the next um, promo video should be set up. Uh, I have a couple of ideas myself, but I'd like you to, you know, get creative and tell me what you think would be a nice way of presenting different channels. Um, and maybe one of your ideas is um, going to be something that inspires me or that I want to take and, and, and make into that promo video. So that'd be really grand. So if you do that, send me an email, include a link to your channel, to an example video, tell me about whose designs you're presenting and if whether you um, ask for permission and give me an idea on what the promo video should look like. Um, if you do all of that, I'm going to go through that um, and, and answer and um, you know tell you whether I think, yes, you should be part of the promo video or not, because I am going to select, of course. Um, I am only going to promo channels that I think um, do um, high quality work in some ways. So if um, if I think that you could push it further first, I might give you some feedback. We'll have to see how many queries I get. Um, and then we can see how it goes. Uh, so no guarantees just because you sent me an email, but I'll definitely have a look. Um, so is that all for this video? I think yes, I just want to say Happy New Year and um, see you around. Bye bye.